friends today we would be doing the identification of cobalt ions cobalt belongs to group 4 and the group reagent is ammonium hydroxide with hydrogen sulfide we first prepare the os and then we react it with group reagent first we inspect the solid salt the salt is bright red in color and it is hygroscopic let us prepare the original solution. For that, we take the solid salt in a test tube and now we will be adding distilled water into the test tube so that the salt will dissolve in it. The original solution here is the salt dissolved in distilled water and it is bright red in color. The analysis of cobalt ions begin from group 3 where we add the solid ammonium chloride, mix it to dissolve the contents. Now we will add ammonium hydroxide into this solution. After adding the ammonium hydroxide, mix the contents well. Now we will be passing hydrogen sulfide gas through this solution. Hydrogen sulfide gas is prepared by mixing ferrous sulfide with a dilute acid. You can either do this method or if your lab has a Kipps apparatus which generates the hydrogen sulfide, you can use that. On passing the hydrogen sulfide gas, there is formation of a black precipitate. The black precipitate on passing hydrogen sulfide gas is given by both nickel salts and also by cobalt salt. Now we have to differentiate between these two. The cobalt hydroxide formed by reaction with ammonia reacts with hydrogen sulfide giving cobalt sulfide which is the black precipitate. The black precipitate is now dissolved in aqua regia which is a combination of concentrated hydrochloric acid to nitric acid in the ratio 3 is to 1. For dissolving it in aqua regia, we take some part of the precipitate in a test tube. Now we take the aqua regia. Care should be taken while handling with aqua regia as it is a mixture of two concentrated acids. Use a dropper to add the aqua regia into this precipitate. You can see that there are fumes arising from the test tube that is because of the reaction taking place between the ammonia which was added previously with the hydrochloric acid present in the aqua regia forming the ammonium chloride. After adding the aqua regia, now we heat the contents of the test tube to boil them. You can observe that on boiling the contents of the test tube, the precipitate has dissolved and the solution has started turning clear. And here we have the clear solution. That means the precipitate has dissolved in aqua regia. This is given by both nickel salts and cobalt salts. Now we move on to the confirmatory test for cobalt. The first one is the ammonium thiocyanate test. For this test, we take the clear solution obtained earlier after cooling. Because we are going to add an organic solvent into this, so the test tube should always be cooled. The solvent I am using here is isopropyl alcohol. 
you can either use that or amyl alcohol or acetone or any other soluble organic compound after that we will be adding solid ammonium thiocyanate into it you can observe a beautiful blue color due to formation of a complex the cobalt salt reacted with ammonium thiocyanate forming ammonium tetrathiocyanate to cobaltate 2 which is blue color now to the second confirmatory test for cobalt that is the potassium nitrite test for this test you can either take the original solution or the clear solution which was prepared earlier this test is highly sensitive to changes in ph this test is positive only in light acidic medium First of all, we acidified the original solution with dilute acetic acid. Now I will be adding solid sodium nitrite. You can directly add potassium nitrite and end the reaction there. But since potassium nitrite is not available in my lab, I am adding the sodium salt of nitrite ion. After adding the sodium nitrite, I will be adding it into a potassium salt in order to make the complex the potassium salt of the complex here i am adding this into potassium nitrate so that the reaction will be complete you can observe the yellow precipitate formed this is the potassium salt of the complex which gave the color to it the yellow precipitate was potassium hexanitrate to cobaltate 3 I am spending a lot in making these videos. If you wish to support me, you can donate me via Patreon or other methods. Links are in the description. This video series on qualitative analysis is soon coming to an end. If you have any suggestions or complaints or queries, you can do that via my email. Email ID in the description. Thank you so much for watching my video and supporting me. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you will not miss any content.